Well, Samantha Sardina, it is wonderful to see you from the class of 2021. How are you doing and, and what are you up to these days? I'm good, thank you. How are you? How is Cooper? Before I answer that question. Everything is wonderful here. We have 1,342 students coming in uh, for this fall semester and we are so excited to see all the students and all the families back on campus. And it's also wonderful to see our alumni back on campus. So tell me a little bit about what you've been doing. Yeah, so I'm going into my junior year at the University of Michigan. I'm studying business at the Ross School of Business and double minoring in Spanish and sustainability. Um, I've been staying busy this summer. I am interning for the PGA, Professional Golfers Association, the Southern Texas section, um, working as their marketing and digital media intern. So I have been out on the course. I have been behind the scenes on the social media, the, the website, kind of all of their marketing needs. But yeah. Fantastic. So you're busy. As you were here at Cooper, you were involved in so many different things here at the John Cooper School. Tell us a little bit about all the activities that you are a part of and that you led. Yeah, so where do I start? Um, I was the president of Student to Student my senior year and started doing that in about seventh grade. Mm -hmm. um, absolutely love that. That's definitely been my favorite role. Um, I got to be a tour guide, an ambassador for the school, um, talk to prospective students and families. So that was kind of my favorite. I was also a part of Student Diversity Committee, um, Student Government, and I was big into theater when I was here, choir as well. Um, I did all the school musicals that I could, um, sang in all the choir concerts. Um, kind of along with that, I was kind of, I was part of Interact as well, um, which definitely kind of transfers over to college as well. But yeah, that's right. So you're all involved in all sorts of facets of the Cooper experience. And how did you balance it all with your academics? What, what were some of the skills that you employed, or how did you learn how to do it? You know, that is a great question. I think back now, and I'm like, I was really a superhero. But I think <laughs> Cooper definitely helped with that, kind of taught me time management starting at a very young age, I think back in fifth and sixth grade, yeah. giving us that planner. You know, um, <laughs> I definitely still use a planner in college the way that I did here. Um, they definitely kind of taught me the importance of balancing everything, like as much as academics are really super important and, you know, like putting your all into that is very important, but taking a break and kind of making sure that your mental health is there as well as still doing things that you love, like theater on the side or choir, um, and kind of making sure that you're like communicating with your teachers and whoever else you may need to be. That's right. So you took all these wonderful skills and we are so glad that you represented Cooper with aplomb here as an S2S ambassador and leader. And you've now taken that to the University of Michigan. Uh, and the Ross School and tell me so what are you doing now there for them in a similar capacity? Yes so now I am a Ross BBA ambassador so very similar to the S2S role I give tours to prospective students and families I work on the admission side of things so I work with drop-ins any questions students may have um, I work the front desk and I get to have a lot of interaction with minorities and also first year first gen college students um, kind of leading their recruiting process um, and so kind of getting to work firsthand with students has kind of been a highlight of my college experience, um, getting to bring what I learned at Cooper um, and kind of transform that at college has been a really great time. That's wonderful. So you've served as an ambassador, as a welcomer, both here at Cooper and at the University of Michigan. So as students are returning this fall, how would you welcome them back or how would you uh, give them uh, some tips and pointers to have a successful start to the school year? Yeah, I think definitely making sure that you stay organized from the very beginning, you know, having that foundation will definitely set you up for success all year. I think using that Cooper planner, I can't stress that enough, um, making sure that you kind of have a system that works for you. And, you know, the planner was my thing, but might not be yours. Um, and I think definitely making sure kind of to communicate with your teachers early on, kind of know what's expected of you, read the syllabuses, kind of figure out what you need to do to stay on top of your work. Um, and also making sure that you are having fun, you're enjoying it. I mean, I feel like high school was just yesterday and I'm going into my junior year of college. So definitely kind of making sure that you don't take anything for granted and um, really enjoy your time here because Cooper has been a highlight. So. Oh, that's just wonderful. Well, it was certainly a highlight for us to get to know you while you Thank were you. here, and we're so proud of you. <laughs> Thank so what's you. next for you uh, at the University of Michigan? So I'm going into my junior year, so that means it is our Ross Integrative Semester. So that means we work with local companies, and um, we do real-life consulting projects, marketing projects, finance projects, um, and we get to kind of get that real-world experience very early on. Um, this past semester, I got to present to the CFO of a company about their future and kind of a future budgeting plan and kind of figuring out um, a lot of different sectors of their technical operations. And so that was something that was really, really interesting, very fun. And I get to do that again this semester. So I'm really looking forward to that. 
Um, along with that, I am going abroad this year, so I get to kind of discover a new culture as well. Um, I'm going to Spain, and so I definitely credit Cooper um, teaching me Spanish kind of from fifth grade to my senior year for that. I feel very confident in my Spanish-speaking abilities. I'm minoring it, minoring in it at college, um, and so kind of sparked that that love for Spanish very early on as well. Wow, that's fantastic. Well, you are on to big and wonderful things, and we are so proud of you, and we are grateful that you came here today to talk to us about your experiences both here at Cooper and at the university level. We wish you all the best. Thank you so much. See you soon.